I will look for you. I will find you. And I will kill you. This video is sponsored by Skyglass. Virtual production and virtual sets have been a hot topic in the last few years, as the new approach allows for a workflow that does not depend on green screens and can give filmmakers a ton of control over every single aspect of the production, down to the camera movement, lighting, and everything else in between. Nowadays, there are even apps that can achieve decent virtual production quality using only your phone, but more on that later. The Mandalorian, for example, was one of the first TV shows to rely heavily on LED screens, I mean huge LED screens, for sets and backgrounds, linking a real camera to a virtual camera inside the engine, which allows for a seamless movement between the two, achieving results like the one you see on the screen right now, with better lighting, better acting, and overall just a better production. A real engine right now is one of the cornerstones of this technology as its virtual fidelity and versatility allow it to be integrated into any production. And the introduction of Nanite in particular opened up the door for unparalleled photorealistic graphics as it is now more than ever feasible to import hundreds of scanned assets and environments very easily with minimal horsepower. Unreal also allows you to control the virtual camera with a real camera, which enables you to achieve those parallax, pan, or zooming effects. The LED screens used for this technology are massive in the Mandalorian, and the LED set was called the Volume, and it was 20 feet tall, 75 feet in diameter, and covered 270 degrees of the set. And usually this stage in the middle can rotate to be able to capture different angles. This technology is still pretty much fairly new, and people are still figuring out how to get the best out of it. Some of the gear you will need with these shots can be quite pricey. And don't get me started on the big LED screens. The one used for the Mandalorian, for example, is the biggest set out there. And it costs ILM around a hundred million dollars, which is a lot of money. Sure, this includes other equipment, but still, it is very expensive. And to do that professionally, it is still out of reach for most filmmakers and VFX artists. But LED virtual production is getting cheaper by the day, especially for indie filmmakers. For example, companies like AR Wall have LED setup packages in the sub $10,000 range, which includes everything you will need to turn your screen or small studio into a virtual set. But if I told you there is a way to create some of these effects just as easily with basically zero dollars. Instead of huge LED screens and expensive rigs and machinery, you can replace backgrounds and put yourself in a virtual set completely for free using Unreal Engine by using a green screen, in addition to a live link add-on, an iPhone, and a little bit of time. And you can actually achieve crazy convincing results. But one app that is spearheading this approach and providing this completely hassle-free is gonna be Skyglass. I've been aware of the Skyglass app after watching some of the stuff people create on apps like TikTok, and some of this stuff is really impressive. The way the app works is very straightforward, as it makes things very simple to deal with, so you don't have to install any plugins or applications. Well, beside the Skyglass application, all you need to do is to generate a 360 background and you can actually create your own using a text prompt in the app to generate your own background. You can also use one of the many hundred plus Unreal Engine environments available in the library and basically start recording and move it around the scene however you like. The background will parallax and move around the scene exactly how your phone moves and this gives the illusion that you are inside the environment. Speaking of the background, you don't even need a green screen, but having one will help you a lot to get a much cleaner cutout, although their AI background remover is pretty good. I mentioned the AI 360 environment creator prompt, and it is very powerful because whatever environment you envision in your head can be generated very quickly as well. But for the best quality and lighting, I think the Unreal Engine environments are best for this. There are a couple of free environments, but to get access to the full library, you're gonna have to buy a premium subscription. Skyglass also offers a ton of customization inside the camera view 
to adjust the green screen key features, like picking the exact color or adjusting the color range or threshold and further controls. There is also video white balance control, as well as color filters like temperature and so on. Some of these can be set to auto, but some are better to lock by tapping because, for example, you don't want your white balance to keep shifting while filming. And that's it. You just fire up the app, pick an environment that you like, or import one from Unreal and start filming. The Unreal stuff in particular are pretty amazing. You can switch to controller mode and walk around in the scene in first person and pick the spot you want to add as long as you have enough space to walk around and the virtual camera will track your movement inside the environment. At the moment the app is only available for iOS, so for Android users you have to wait a bit for it to be available. Also, you can't use this for hooking it to a professional camera. It can only work through your iPhone camera, at least not without a lot of setting up. So, as a final thought, this is a very cool idea to be able to sync your virtual camera with your real camera. As I mentioned, there are ways that you can do this for free using Unreal and some plugins and your phone apps, but it does require a bit of setup, unlike this one where it is just one app. And voila, everything is gonna be ready to go. Now, do I see this being used for high-level production? Well, not really. But part of me feels like I'm serious about it and I can create a really good setup and really good shots. Because using an iPhone for creating a movie is already proven possible, like what Claudio Miranda did for example. Because he created cool and cinematic stuff using the iPhone. But let me know what you think. You can try the app now for free by clicking the link down in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.